In this video, we'll go a bit deeper into what the KV really is. KV is also known as the voltage constant. You might already know that if you multiply this by the battery voltage, you get the maximum theoretical speed of your motor. But why is that? And how can we change it? When the motor is rotating, either with your hand or if it's powered up, doesn't matter, it produces a voltage. This voltage is called E, the Beck electromagnetic force. E depends on the number of poles, the number of coils for each pole, the magnetic flux, the engine speed, and a constant, because engineers love constants. As the speed goes up and the motor rotates faster, the Beck EMF increases, up to a point where it equals the battery voltage and the current cannot circulate anymore, and the maximum possible RPM is reached. From the Beck EMF formula, it is very easy to find out the KV. Here's the interesting part. Apart from the constant, which keeps inside everything we don't need now, it is inversely proportional to the magnetic flux and the number of coils we have. For example, if we use more powerful magnets, we increase the magnetic field, but the KV goes down. The same happens when we tighten the air gap, which is the space between the magnets and the magnetic poles. Since the air is not a good magnetic field conductor, we are increasing the magnetic field, and this also makes the KV go down. To compensate for this and raise the KV, we use less coils, and since the available space is fixed, the wire can be thicker. Thicker wire has less resistance, thus it can carry more current. Since the power is V times E, if the current goes up, the power goes up too. This is also why if you toast your motor, the magnets lose power and the KV goes up. To prevent this, some companies employ better magnet grades that can sustain a higher temperature. And this is also why everybody loves arc magnet, because they reduce the average air gap and provide more magnetic field. This also lowers the KV. So why don't we go for 1 billion trillion KV? Well, apart from making your battery very angry at you due to the currents involved, in the next video we'll see how KV affects another important parameter, the torque and the implications of different propellers, overpropping and other interesting things. If you liked this video, please subscribe to the channel to help me make more videos like this. Thanks for watching.